Now what is an impure substance? Okay, an impure substance is basically made up of more than one kind of particles and these particles are not chemically combined but they are just simply in physical contact with each other okay and these impure substances do not have okay they do not have definite properties so if you take any impure substance for example let us take salt solution does it have any definite set of properties no it may not be having definite melting point definite boiling point that will be varying depending upon the salt content in the salt solution so basically an impure substance does not have definite set of properties and it has more than one kind of particles okay and these particles are not combined chemically they are combined physically now examples of these okay now under this impure substance okay now under this impure substance we have what is known as the mixtures okay we have what is known as the mixtures okay now for a layman something which is pure or what is something which is impure okay for a common person something which is impure means it has some sort of adulteration that means some unwanted substance in it for example i may call water impure if some sand particles are present in it i may call milk impure if it has excess water or it may have some dirt particles in it or something like that if sub suspended particles are there in honey i will call it impure okay so for a common person something is said to be impure okay even uh, if it is been adulterated with some other substances but for a chemist the definition of pure and impure are different from the definition what pure and impure mean to a common man okay for a chemist an impure substance you may be getting pure water you may be saying ma'am this is 100% pure tap water but still for a chemist that water is going to be impure because it's not containing only the particles of water but it contains even the dissolved salts dissolved gases within it within it pure you may be saying uh, like on your milk which you get the packet milk it will be written pure milk okay then for you it may be pure you are calling it pure because it's not having any dirt particles any other sort of impurities present but for a chemist even this 100% pure milk is an impure substance because it is not made up of only one kind of particles milk contains carbohydrates that is sugars it contains proteins it contains vitamins there are so many different substances present in milk which are not chemically combined with each other so for a chemist uh, even purest form of milk is said to be impure now let us take honey honey for instance may be pure honey we say dabar honey pure honey right so that sealed bottle you will definitely say this is 100% pure honey but for a chemist that 100% pure honey is also impure because it is not only made up of one kind of particles it contains sugar it contains minerals it contains so many other substances so what is pure for a common man may be impure for a chemist because his definition of an impure substance is something it is something which is made up of more than one kind of particles which are combined physically and they can be separated and this particular substance does not have a definite set of properties is that clear so basically now let's define what is a mixture okay what is a mixture a mixture is an impure substance according to a chemist so it is a substance okay which is made up of two or more different kind 
of particles combined physically or are not chemically bound okay so this is what we call a mixture now some of the common mixtures which we come across in our day to day life is your milk your honey your fruit juices your medicines your water your tap water okay not distilled water your tap water your mineral water also okay and then you have your salt and uh, water solution okay and then you have some cake which is again a mixture so so many things are mixtures which we come across in our day to day life <laughs>